Okay, so imagine this. You have just downloaded a big Excel report from your boss and it's called final underscore data underscore v9 underscore final underscore final dot xlsx. You open it and bam, rows, columns, formulas and pure confusion. But here's the secret. Python can handle all this mess in seconds. So hello everyone and welcome back to Power Pro Academy. And today, we are going to make friends with three types of data files you will see everywhere in data analysis, which are CSV, Excel, and JSON. And by the end of this video, you will read, write, and even transform these files like a pro. And yes, we will use real examples. No boring theories. So let's decode the file jungle. The first one is CSV. So what is the full form of CSV? So CSV is comma separated value, a simple text file with data separated by commas. Think of it as Excel without colors or drama. The next one is Excel, which is dot .xlsx file, the fancy cousin with formatting charts and sometimes attitude. The last one is JSON. So the JSON is JavaScript object notation. The techie one used in APIs and the modern apps, it looks scary with all those curly braces, but trust me, it's just a dictionary wearing a fancy outfit. Okay, so let's start with CSV. The most common file you will meet as a data analyst. So Python has a built-in library called CSV. Let's read one. So let's jump into our VS Code and read our first file. So here we are in our VS Code and I am importing a library which is CSV. So just write import CSV and with that we have to do file handling. So if you are not familiar with file handling in Python, you can go and watch our Python series. Okay, so we have to write with open function and in the open function, we have to write file name, which is sales underscore data dot CSV. And we have to open it in the read mode. So I have to write R as file colon and we have to jump into that particular box. Then reader equals to CSV dot reader and file. Then for row in reader colon print rows and what it will do. So here we are reading the file which is sales underscore data and what we are doing here is we are assigning the file in the read mode in the variable reader. Then we are reading it row by row. Okay, so what's happened here? So the first one, we open the file in read mode which is R. Then we create a csv.reader object where the file reside and the third one is then we loop through each row as I told you. Now it's like inviting Python to read your Excel sheet line by line but without complaining about formatting. Now if your file has columns name then you can use dict reader function. So let's use it. So I'm writing with open function and in the open function we have the file name which is sales underscore data dot csv. We are opening it in the read mode. So R as file. Now I am assigning the file into a variable which is reader. So reader equals to csv dot dict reader and inside the parenthesis I am putting the file. Now for row in reader what we are printing here print row square bracket product which is the column name comma row square bracket sales which also a column name. Now each row is a dictionary easy to use and perfect for analysis. So if you can use a key you can use a CSV here. Okay so next step the drama queen which is excel files. For these we will use open py excel which is a Python library that opens read and write Excel shapes. So for that, we have to write from open py Excel import load underscore workbook. 
Now here, we are loading a whole workbook here. And in the workbook, there are many Excel sheets in it. So first of all, we have to load the workbook. So WV, which is a variable here, WV equals to load underscore workbook, which is a function to load the workbook and the workbook name, which is data.xlsx. Now, we have to find the active sheets in that particular workbook. So sheet equals to wb.active. Now we have to iterate in the sheets. So for row in sheet.iter underscore rows and here we have to pass values underscore only equals to true and we have to print that row. So here's what's happening. The first one load underscore workbook which opens the excel file then dot active selects the first sheet then the dot iter underscore rows reads data from all rows it's like python sneaking into excel's room and reading all its secrets while it sleeps now let's do something else okay so what if we have to append something in the excel so from open py excel import workbook wb equals to workbook ws equals to wb.active the active sheets and here what we are going to do is ws.append which is name age city next line ws.append where alice 25 new york ws.append bob 30 london and then wb.save as people.xlsx boom you just created your own excel file from scratch no mouse clicks no formulas no crying over cells finally the mysterious json file used by apis websites and apps everywhere json stands for javascript object notation it's looked like this so this is how a json looks like here we have curly braces and we have key and its value such as name the value is lx age is 30 and skills which is an array object so the python and data analysis in python it's super easy to read and write json data so here i am showing you that how can you do it so first of all we have to import the library which is json here so import json with open and the data name which is data.json we are opening it in the read mode so r as file now we are loading the json into a variable so data equals to json.load and file now we have to just print the data so print data this loads the json file into a python dictionary and if you want to write json then check this out so here i have a dictionary which is new underscore data curly braces the key and the value so the name alex age 30 and skill is python and data analysis now with open the data name which is data.json now we are writing into the file so the mode is w as file now i have to write json.dump the new data the file name and the indent equals to 4 and boom you have just made your first json file and welcome to the world of apis and data sharing where brackets and quotes rule the kingdom okay let's combine everything in a real world scenario here so you have got a sales report in csv format and now you need to convert it into a json report for your data dashboard so how we can do that Let's jump into the screen and I will show you there that how we can do these things. Okay, so first of all, we have to import CSV and JSON because we have to convert the CSV into JSON. So first of all, we have a, J a CSV file. So we have to store it first. So with open sales.csv, if I am not writing the mode here, so it will directly calls the read mode which is work as a default here so with open csv uh, sales.csv as f which is the file reader equals to csv.dict reader 
and the find which is f data equals to row for row in reader it's a one line now we have the data in data variable now what we have to do we have to just open that json file and write the data in it so with open the file name which is sales underscore report dot json the mode in which we have to work is w which is write as f the file then we have to write json dot dump the data file name and the indent equals to 4 and yes just like that your csv become json so you have officially become the data translator your team didn't know they need it python just save you from hours of excel clicks and possible carpet tunnel okay so before you go let's test your memory the first question is which module do we use for excel files the second one is what is the difference between csv.reader and csv.dictreader and the third one is json is similar to which python data type so comment your answer below and if you got all three congrats you are now officially data file certified don't forget to hit like subscribe and get ready for the next video where we clean and transform these files like a true data analyst so be there learn from here we will meet you in the next video till then goodbye happy coding